A week ago a new feature was released in Midjourney that is definitely worth covering. If you use Midjourney you know that in order to get variations of the images that have already been generated, variations must be used. This is accessible from the V1, V2, V3 and V4 buttons, which are positioned below the generated four images after the prompt is released. The other option is to use the very strong and very soft buttons that appear when we already have the upscaled image. And now there's this very region button that I'm going to talk about in this video. In order to have this button active, it is necessary to have marked remix mode as active in settings. Also very region appears on the already upscaled image. For demonstration purposes of these four images, I will upscale the first one. I'll select Vary Region, then highlight the part of the image I want Midjourney to edit. In this case, I will mark the area around the eyes. I will write that I want the girl to have blue eyes. And here, the portrait remained exactly the same, but the girl now has blue eyes. I'm going to upscale the first and second images to show you. I choose Vary Region again. Now I'm going to highlight the girl's hair and add in the prompt that I want the hair to be green. It didn't turn out perfectly, but I definitely have the same image, but the girl has green hair now. And now I'm going to mark the area around the eyes again, and write that I want to add glasses. Unbelievable. Unlike the other variations, which despite returning similar images, never managed to make changes to the exact same image. And now I will show you how we can insert an object into a certain background. For example, I had this prompt for a wall texture. Now I'm going to insert a graphite drawing inside. And lo and behold, graffiti appeared on the wall. And now, instead of graffiti, I will put city pop street art. I don't know why the eye images came up again. But after a few tries, I was able to achieve this. It's not perfect, but I think these two images are really successful. Likewise, in the same background, such as a landscape, urban environment, or other, you can place an object of your choice. Here, instead of the beautiful girl, I placed an image of a man in the floral background. I personally think this update is great. And that's just the beginning. This functionality is expected to be improved soon. Well, that was it for today. Friends, don't miss out on my latest content. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be the first to know when I upload a new video. Thank you for watching this video and see you soon.